Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be looking at the EX the XP Crystal Bank add-on. Now um this add-on I got mainly because um when I when I buy like uh when buying these add-ons that they my Microsoft is like, oh here's some free mine coins and I had just like had like a few just enough like mine coins to get this. Left so I was like, eh, yeah, sure, why not? Let's, okay, I'll look into it in a video. So, it does seem like a, uh, cool thing that, uh, different, that, it does seem like more, uh, server focused than single player focused. Um, hold on. There we go. Just had to switch the audio over to my headphones. Um, how do I get that? Back? Oh, I can turn it. There we go. I want to get. Okay. Yeah, that's just. This will be fine anyway. Uh, XP Crystal Bank, store your experience for later use or, you know, just in case you lose it. Which is a valid point because in Minecraft, which is something I really don't like about Minecraft, is that no matter how many levels you have, when you die, you will always drop a maximum of seven levels. So this could definitely be useful for someone a bit later game that doesn't want to lose all the levels if they die. <laughs> So you punch it to put in, you uh, interact to get out. Two gold uh, ingers, emerald block, glowstone, free obsidian. Emerald, gold. Hmm. There you go, emerald block. Those block of emerald? Probably not. Anyway, uh, two gold. And you want three obsidian. And a glue stone dust. I think that'll be in here. Three obsidian, emerald block, two gold, and a glowstone. Okay, so it doesn't appear in here for some reason. Even though the wiki door. Yeah, that's odd. But well, we made it! New recipe. So you put it down, you punch it to put, deposit your experience, and you right click to get out. Shift it around with this. Where you're facing. Oh, can I? Now you can't do it all. Uh, oh, there we go. Did I just delete all the XP I had? Nope. That just relocates them, yeah. So, there are, there are multiple ones though. Discussion our XP storage device functions similarly to the end of the chest. Uh, add on content, crystal bank, storage, XP storage, XP dispenser, extractor furniture. Then we've got the crystal bank wiki. Personal account, wrench control. So, you've got the crystal bank. Although similar to the chest to the XP uh, crystal 
bank device stores the XP per world, not per player. As a result, you are able to share your XP with friends and family. So the base crystal bank. Yeah, the crystal bank. So uh, you would be able to put deposit it in it and then someone else could, like your friend or family member could come along. And uh, hold on, let me just give that XP. XP. Crystal. Yeah, that's sixty two. Let's get a stack of these. So I got a stack of these. So you could have one in your base and you could just like deposit your ten levels. And like your friend in their base could uh Hold on. Could withdraw those 10 levels as needed. This is for like sharing your XP with, with people. Then there's a personal one which is like an ender chest. Think of the XP, a personal account has a portable ender chest for your XP. Hold the item to interact, use it to hold. To craft it, it is emeralds around a red, four emeralds and a redstone dust. So let's get this crafted up. Here we go. And this is just an item, so you can deposit all and withdraw all. And there's one more, yeah, XP Dispenser. And unlike the XP Crystal Bank, the XP Year Dispenser only allows the extraction of the global XP in forms of experience orb. So it's got uh, a one, two, three, four gold, four emeralds, and well, a crystal bank. So four gold. We only have five emeralds. XP dispenser. That one does appear in there, though. Hmm, odd. So. Oh, so that only allows people to take out. So if I put this down, I put my, that in there, and I come here. And then it, yeah, okay. Don't really know. Uh, I don't really know what you could use the XP dispenser for. I mean, maybe I an XP show. No, I don't know. Hmm. I don't really know what to, uh, use case the XP dispenser would have. But the XP Crystal Bank and especially the the XP Personal Account are definitely useful. The XP Crystal Bank for sharing your XP with, with other players, and obviously the Personal Account for you know you're storing your XP. So you if you die, you don't lose it. Um. Yeah. So I would. It is quite cheap as well, so it's not like super expensive. So yeah, I would recommend this to like single player and especially like uh, multiplayer world who uh, who wants like a way to share their EXP with each other. But yeah, other than that, it is quite a small like uh, 
Oh, not much to talk about, and yeah. But it is, it is handy. I would definitely say that. So yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this short uh, video on this. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah, well, well I just, I just, wait, what, how long have I been recording? Yeah, only 10 minutes. Yeah. Uh, um, I mean, there's just not really much to talk about with it, unfortunately. I would like get there to be more to talk about, because I, don't, I feel bad you're so uploading the video so short, but... Yeah, not much I can do about it, unfortunately. Anyway, like I was saying, I'll see you guys in the next one, and bye-bye.